What is going on? Sean Don coming back with another technical analysis. Here we have another one of Jamal Butler's athletes. He's a coach at, I believe, Park University near Kansas City. I think this is his other athlete. I believe it was uh, Naya, I think was her name, perhaps. Just speculating here, not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, as I said in the previous video I just uploaded before this, um, Jamal reached out, said he wanted some technical analysis done on his two athletes, so here I am doing it, helping him out. So if you yourself are a coach or an athlete looking for some technical input to improve your throw, to set some PRs, to win some championships, then let me know. Go to my website and submit a contact form or go to the coaching page and just sign up and we can get to work, dude. All right, let's uh, let's get after it. Gripandrip.co once again. Let's take a look. What I've been doing in the Two turns here. And the big thing I see is the orbit looks pretty steep, and then you see the high point shifting towards that left sector right away. Um, a little bit quick to start. Uh, this is the thing I see with a lot of athletes big preliminary swings. They think I need to get the ball moving, so they do it kind of in the wrong way, I guess. Uh, and they try to do everything they can to get the ball moving before the throw. And then as the throw happens, they tend to be a little bit less efficient, or they don't have a feeling or connection. I guess maybe they just, you know, when you're young, you don't really understand that, you know, the hammer is accelerated by the turns, not by, you know, preliminary swings or even the speed of entry. So a lot of people tend to think, you know, if I start fast, I'll end faster. When usually what happens is you start fast and slow, or at the very least, you don't improve in speed at all, and you lose connection, and then things get a little wild. So. So uh, let's uh, break it down and see what we can fix for Jamal or tell Jamal to help fix his athletes. Um, but yeah, big thing. Like I said, right from the start, preliminary swings, very big, uh, kind of too big. As you can see, she starts with the ball in the middle of her legs, brings it up about head height, brings the ball straight back, goes up to about shoulder height, brings it back forwards. As you can start to see, she does kind of shift it around and get some rotational energy, which is good. But same thing, ball comes up about head height. This is just uh, too too fast, too high, too big of an orbit, too much amplitude uh, in this preliminary swing. Um, because what goes up must come down. So you're going to see here, ball comes up, ball drops down. She looks pretty stable in terms of her base, but the ball drops. She doesn't really give into it too much. But then same sort of thing. Uh, and she starts to kind of cut off the tension of the ball a little bit. You see she kind of holds her hands down, prevents the ball from coming up too high. But when the ball rises like this, as you can see right here, ball's just moving all on its own, hands really aren't moving, body's not moving. Um, that's disconnection in a way, and disconnection is bad, connection is good. You want to cr have the ball create tension for you. Um, at this point, her body's creating tension to slow the ball down. And then when she goes to try to accelerate the ball or push the ball on entry, uh, it just isn't the most connected. As you can see, she starts to initiate that right about here trying to kind of sling it across, swing it across. As you can see, she's setting up that left side, shifting her weight over to the left, and then trying to get that tension across the body. You can see she's doing a pretty good job of kind of extending the ball out to the right, but very left-sided here, um, which, and this isn't a bad thing. I'm all, I am a fan of using the left side to kind of set up entry. Uh, you just got to make sure that right side is also connected. Um, so we'll see what happens. But pretty good left side setup, honestly. Pretty solid here. But this is the thing. When you watch in slow motion uh, and you kind of go frame by frame, you don't really see the, the full movement. So like I said, looking at the speed of entry. So if we want to go back and give it a watch full speed, it just looks kind of fast, kind of perky, jerky, you know, kind of pulling it around. Um, but when you slow it down and you look at you know frame by frame, it doesn't look that bad. Like, the positions are pretty solid. It's just the speed of the movement is too fast for her to handle, I think. Um, but pretty good stability through entry. As you can see, she's turning with it pretty well. You can see her feet turning pretty well. She doesn't lead that left side too much, kind of like I uh, saw with the other video I just did before this. Um, you can see that right side's with it pretty well. Coming off that heel, you can see the left side does shift back. That left shoulder shifts back a little bit. Um, and she's just a little bit impatient. So, just this connection through entry like it looks pretty good but i think if you look at the overall speed of everything and the direction 
and stability of everything. She does kind of pull the ball back a little bit around the left. It looks like her low point um, isn't really set up that well. You can see like the ball kind of hits its low point there. She sinks down and gives into it a little bit, which as we learned in the previous video, isn't the best thing. Um, and then as the ball goes around the left, it's very flat around the left, which isn't a bad thing, but then it's flat till about here. And you start to see her lift her, start to see her lift her hands up and kind of extend up through that left leg. So she picks up and kind of shifts the orbit. So like it was pretty solid, flat around the left, uh, almost too flat. And then she picks the ball up and then that creates a high point going down this left sector line. Um, because you can see the stiffness in this left leg here. You can see her left leg's almost completely straight, and she doesn't bend it until after that right leg passes it. So a little too stiff in the left leg. Um, I'd say try to emphasize a little bit more of the low point out in front of the left leg here, and then make sure you keep the ball up around the left. Um, like I said, you're kind of turning inside of it a little bit, shortening it around the left, and then, like I said, that just kind of sets up your whole direction down this left sector line, and when that happens, um, Things don't go too well, usually. Um, but as she catches, same sort of thing as in the previous video. She kind of steps around. As you can see, this right foot kind of turning forward towards zero. Uh, instead of kind of thinking about stepping and connecting that right hip to the ball and kind of stepping forward towards the sector. Like I said, part of that is the left leg, part of that is the right leg. So left leg could stretch, not stretch, sorry, bend down this right sector line or towards 180. You want to feel the ball stretch around the left out long towards 90 and then also stretch towards the right sector line. And you can think about just stepping forward towards it um, instead of kind of stepping around here. So the, the issue is that a lot of people tend to think, oh, I need to step around because it's a rotational throw. But really, by this point, uh, the throw already has all the rotational momentum it needs. You need to be more linear. So you got to think about stepping more forwards. The ball's going to finish the turn for you. You just need to continue to set up that linear front to back motion. Um, so this over rotation here a little bit, right foot comes a little bit, uh, they're pretty even. But as you can see when she goes to step, her right leg's pretty straight. She's a little wide there. The right foot could be more underneath her. And like I said, this comes from a very stiff left leg. The stiffer that left leg is uh, earlier in the turn, uh, the more the right leg's going to have to, uh, what, what would the turn be? Not compromise. Yeah, perhaps compromise. Uh, overcompensate is the word I'm looking for. That, that left leg doesn't bend at all, so that right leg overcompensates by straightening out and kind of trying to find your balance there. Uh, and you can see with the ball stretching towards his left sector, liner hips are kind of sitting back away from it, which comes partly from the right leg and the left leg, just legs in general. Hips are kind of back away from it. And then so what happens here, she catch it, catches, she doesn't have a ton of tension in the body. That left side's probably going to pull. We'll see. And you can see, like I said, same sort of thing, balls, she kind of pops up with it. She catches and it kind of sinks down with it. The ball starts to drop on her. And then you start to see she does get that right leg into it here. So she's doing a better job turning there, but you can just see the hips are a little bit back. And that so that left side is going to pull. She doesn't quite have the stability she needs. That left side pulls as it goes around the left. And now you see that low point more dramatic. So high point was up around here. That's usually going to be 180 degrees later. It's that low point. Boom. Low point right there out in front of the left foot. When that low point shifts out in front of that left foot, usually not a lot of good things are going to happen. You want to keep that low point. Uh, usually at zero, if not a little bit before, depending on how many turns you're doing uh, and what part of the throw you're in. But if the ball starts shifting out in front of that left foot too soon, that usually means, like I said, your direction's down this left sector. Not the most efficient throw. And you can see she doesn't really get back on the ball until there, directly opposite of that low point. She gets back on the ball, left side's pulling back. That right side's doing a pretty good job. Uh, I think better job than I saw uh, was it Kinesis do. Uh, that right side's working it better here. So she's got some potential. She's just got to line it up better. Uh, and then since the ball is dropping a lot through there, uh, it's just going to lift even more and rise even more. And you can see, even as she goes to turn, left leg's still very stiff. Left knee doesn't really bend at all until she goes to catch. And you see the high point, like I said, that left sector line. And she gets this very awkward position here where her hips are back away from the hammer. Her left knee's bent, but her right leg's like said, overcompensating or compensating for everything that's going on. Her right leg's very stiff. Catches just about 270. And just, to me, this position doesn't look very strong. It looks off balance. Like I said, her hips are back away from the ball. And then as she goes through zero, like I said, your body doesn't feel much stability. It's going to pull that left side to create stability. 
and then she comes through on the finish and you can see that right side kind of completely shuts off. She's trying to work it, but it kind of shuts off because that left side, you can see left leg straightens out, left shoulder pulls up. And then you can see her direction is kind of even funkier in this position of the throw because it looks like she's like working <clears throat> almost backwards towards like, you know, 270, 315, 300 degrees, whatever. She's kind of working back and she just kind of lets go of the ball and she's able to get it out into the sector. But then you can see once again, her weight is being shifted over her right side so dramatically by this left leg that she falls off to the left side of the circle from the camera view and it's like oh, i don't know what's going on probably so yeah and i think that all just like i said comes back from the start it comes back to the start uh she's just starting a little bit too fast and when you start so fast you have so much rotational energy um that you don't really know where to go with it so it's just rotational 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 instead of the ball's moving around you rotationally and you're moving front to back. Um, also, just by the look of her throw, if she did slow it down, I think she should be able to do three turns and she could probably look more like Kenise. Um Because it's just this very, you know, fast start kind of sets up direction wrong. And then um, she doesn't really know where to go with it. So if she got more linear front to back movement, chilled out the throw a little bit, maybe instead of a wild kind of big preliminary swing like bump start off the shoulder if she did some static start throws or even like a sling start a little bit more chill she'd be able to find that direction a little bit better and probably do three turns and probably break you know 15 16 meters i think because look looking at this her right side is is pretty solid she just has the wrong direction like i said she's always going down the left sector so um yeah and then with that trying to be a little bit more uh flat in the entry like i said that all comes back from the preliminary swing. If you chill this out a little bit, you can be a little bit flatter, a little bit more patient, feel the ball stretch out to the left a little bit more, stretch towards the sector more, and then direction, everything would get better. It, it all it all relates. So everything I'm talking about is all kind of relational and, like I said, a little bit more bent in the left leg. But, uh, yeah, Orbit just gets a little steep on her. She doesn't really know what to do with it because she's just a younger athlete. So uh, I take it. You know, it doesn't have 10 years of throwing experience, which I guess everybody who isn't a professional hammer thrower is, is young by that standard. But um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Jamal, let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this helps. Um, always here if you ever need me. If you want more input going into outdoors, hit me up, dude. Happy to help out. Uh, and same for anybody else out there. In, uh, championship season is coming around for indoors. Get yourself a technical analysis and uh, maybe find that one cue that you're missing and drop some bombs, set some PRs, win some championships. And then going into outdoors, same thing, man. The best time to sign up was yesterday. So uh, if you can't do it yesterday, then do it today. All right. Check out my website, gripandrip.co. Go sign up for some online coaching. Get to work with your boy because uh, this stuff's been fun lately, man. Helping people, passing on my knowledge, doing what I can to improve the landscape of the hammer and weight throwing community. So thank you for watching. Until next time, Sean Don signing off.